greetings to everyone who is watching and listening to me right about now. I'm here with a powerful and amazing word just for you. Brothers and sisters, you are not watching me by mistake. You have not clicked on this video by coincidence. There is a reason as to why you are watching me right about now. There are things that I want to share with you, truth that I want to share with you, things that are happening in your life that some of you have not yet noticed. Some of you, the enemy is busy jumping around in your living room, busy jumping around in your bedroom, busy trying to send you nightmares, but you have not yet recognized that the enemy is planting seeds of destruction in your life. So it is time to wake up. It is time to stand up and pray. Some of you, you are woken up at 3 a.m., 2 a.m., 4 a.m., 5 a.m. It is not a joke. God wakes you up to pray. There are things that God sees what the enemy is doing and he wakes you up to pray. So it is important that you pray. Now, my brothers and sisters, I have a very amazing and powerful word just for you. And this word is the enemies will not succeed in destroying your life. The enemies you see today, you shall see them no more. The adversaries you see today, you shall see them no more. God is going to deal with your accuser. You see, the enemy is called as the accuser of the brethren. The devil is called as the accuser of the brethren. That is his description. He wants to accuse you. But I'm here to encourage you. Even through that accusation, you are going to come out victorious. The glory is going to return to God. I want to read to you an amazing and powerful word for you. And the scripture is from the book of Daniel, chapter 6, verse 16 to around 23. Daniel, chapter 6, verse 16 to 23. Let us read the scripture and see what happened to the servant of the Lord, Daniel. The Bible says, So the king gave the command, and they brought Daniel and cast him into the den of lions. But the king spoke, saying to Daniel, Your God, whom you serve continually, he will deliver you. Then a stone was brought and laid on the mouth of the den. And the king sealed it with his own signet ring and with the signets of his lords that the purpose concerning Daniel may not be changed. Now the king went to his palace and spent the night fasting and no musicians were brought before him. Also his sleep went from him. Then the king arose very early in the morning and went in haste to the den of lions. And when he came to the den, he cried out with a lamenting voice to Daniel. Then the king spoke, saying to Daniel, Daniel, servant of the living God, has your God, whom you serve continually, been able to deliver you from the lions? Then Daniel said to the king, O king, live forever. My God sent his angel and shut the lion's mouths so that they have not hurt me because I was found innocent before him. And also, O king, I have done no wrong before you. Now the king was exceedingly glad for him and command was and he, and commanded that they should take Daniel out of the den. So the so Daniel was taken out of the den, and no injury whatever was found on him because he believed in God. The Bible says no injury whatever was found in him on him because he believed in God. He trusted in God, not even a scratch. Not even a sign of struggle was found in him. It was like he was placed in a peaceful place. It was because he believed in God. Brothers and sisters, I'm here to tell you, if you believe in God, 
If you continue trusting in God, no injury will be found on you. Yes, your enemies have plotted traps against you. Your enemies have put you in a trap. Some of you, you are in a pit. You could be in the same situation. That is terrible. That lions are surrounding you. That devouring things are surrounding you. But I want to encourage you. No injury will be found on you. You are going to come out of that affliction. Fresh. It will be like you have never ever been in an affliction. Scars will not be from on you. Because God will protect you if you believe in God. Now the Bible says it clear that the king gave a command. The reason as to why the king gave the command is because um, the governors, the stirrups, they found a way to manipulate the king, to make him sign a document about worship, about Daniel. That if anyone is found praying for those days, they had set up days. If anyone is found praying to their God, they will be put in the lion's den. So the king never did not know that Daniel was going to be caught into this uh, problem. So he was forced to cast Daniel into the dens of the lions. But as the king was casting Daniel, he spoke to him saying, Your God whom you serve continually, he will deliver you. The king was confident that God will deliver Daniel. And the Bible says it clear. That the king went to his palace and spent the night fasting. You see, even the king spent the night fasting. That shows you how powerful Daniel was. That shows you, shows you how important Daniel was to the affairs of the kingdom. That the king himself would fast. The Bible says no musician was brought to the king. He did not even have sleep. The Bible says he woke up early in the morning. It was the king who was the first to come to the den of lion. To call out Daniel to see if the Lord had saved him. And, then, and Daniel responds and says, the living God has rescued him. Because God had sent an angel. And the angel of the Lord was able to shut the mouth of the lions. Glory to God. You see, the Bible says that Jesus is the lion of the tribe of Judah. And also the Bible says that the devil moves around like a roaring lion, seeking for whom to devour. So, Daniel was protected by the true lion. That is the lion of the tribe of Judah. So, when the lions saw Daniel, probably saw a lion in, inside Daniel, an alpha lion. Jesus was in, in, in Daniel. Jesus was there to protect Daniel. Brothers and sisters, I hope this word has blessed you. Until next time, Shalom.